Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. So this is third part of our to do app tutorial and in this video we will create a adapter class for application and also I will provide source code in the description box. So if you have some errors you can always check with that. So let's click on this Java and first package name new and new package. So we will name it as adapter and inside this package we will create new class so java class and we'll name it as a to do adapter and this will extends to recycler view dot adapter and here we have to pass view holder class so first we'll create one inner class so public static class we'll name it as a my view holder and this will extends to recycler view dot view holder this one and then we'll click on this and press alt enter it will create one constructor for us so in this class we have to uh, initialize our widget so we have one widget let's check in layout task layout we have one checkbox here you can see we have one checkbox so let's initialize it over here so checkbox I will name it as a M checkbox and we have to find its id in this method so m checkbox equals item view dot find view by id and r dot id dot okay it is not giving us suggestion because we have to inflate the layout first then we'll come back here later so just click on this and uh, first we'll pass here this class so my view holder and then we'll click on alt enter here and it will ask us to implement some methods the so three methods that we have on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so we'll click ok ok so in on create view holder we have to inflate the layout so here we'll just for that we'll create one view so view v and layout inflator dot from we'll use this parent dot get context and then inflate and we'll pass here our layout name so r dot layout dot task layout and then we'll pass here parent and attach to root will be false and then semicolon and we'll just return new my view holder and we'll pass here our v that's it now we'll jump to our uh, inner class and here it is showing me suggestions now because we have successfully inflated the layout so that is m checkbox so that's it now we'll just create our uh, here some variables so the first will be private uh, list and here we'll pass our to do model so to do model To do model and we'll name this list as a m list and then we'll create one context so private main activity and we'll name it as activity then we'll create database helper instance so private database helper my db and again we'll create one constructor for our class to do adapter so public to do adapter and here we'll pass database helper my db and context so main activity activity so this dot activity equals activity and this dot my db equals my db and then we'll uh, let's me write here equals to then we'll jump to our get item count and here we'll pass m list dot size and in on bind view holder we'll create instance of our to do model so final to do model and we'll name the instance as an item it will equal to m list dot get and here we'll pass position this position parameter so if you are having some problem to implement the recycler view adapter you can check out the video in the i button in that video i have explained how to use uh, recycler view adapter to implement recycler view in Android Studio so you can check it out so after this we'll just use this holder and 
dot m checkbox dot set text and the text text will be item dot get task and then holder dot m checkbox dot set checked and here will pass item dot get status so this returns a uh, integer value but uh, we have to in this uh, set check method we have to pass boolean value so for that we'll just create one method so public it will be type of boolean and we'll name it as a two boolean and here we'll pass one num so in term and this will return if num not equal to zero it will return true and otherwise it will return false so we just try two boolean here okay so that's it now we just have to uh, add on check listener to this checkbox so i'm checkbox dot set on checked change listener new compound button dot on check listener and here we'll just uh, write one if else condition so if is checked then we'll call our mydb dot update status here we'll just uh, write item dot get id and status will be zero if checked uh, sorry if checked status will be one that's checked and else mydb dot update status item dot get id and the status will be zero that is unchecked okay so that's it now we'll create one create one context method so it will be helpful uh, when we'll create create new class for adding the task we'll call this method to get the context so we'll name it as a get context and this method will just return the activity so return activity that's it also we'll create one method uh, that will be set task so public void set tasks and here we'll pass our list so list to do model and let's name is name it as m list so this dot m list equals to m list and notify data set change so it will make sense later when we'll call this method in our main activity to connect our list to our to do adapter so this will make sense later now we just have to create one method for deleting the task so public void delete task and here we'll pass position so end position sorry and we'll create instance of our to do model so to do model item equals m list dot get and we'll pass here position then we'll invoke the method from our database so mydb dot delete task and here we'll pass item dot get id because we have to pass id in this delete task method then we just have to remove the selected item from list so m list dot remove and here we'll pass position and then we just have to notify that item has been removed so notify item removed and we'll pass here position so that's it for deleting the task now we'll just create one method for editing the task or inserting the task so public void edit task or let's name it as a edit item okay here we'll also pass position so end position and we'll create one to do model instance so to do model item equals m list dot get and we'll pass your position and now we'll create one bundle for passing the data between fragment to activity so we use bundle in android to pass the data between activities or between activity and fragment so a uh, bundle passes the data using a uh, key value pair so just create one bundle bundle let's name it as a bundle equals new bundle so bundle dot put put int first we'll just pass id so key will be id and the value will be item dot get id 
and then bundle dot put string key will be task and the value will be item dot kit task so that's it we'll come back here later because we have to write some code here uh, we'll create uh, in the next video we'll create one class to adding the new task for so that will be bottom sheet class so after uh, creating that class we'll come back here and write some code here so now we have completed all thing in our adapter class so stay tuned for next video in the next video we'll see how to create a bottom sheet class so that's it thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorial and for this tutorial too so thank you